Somebody's coming! Hey, who is that over there? Nobody! Hey, come here! Who is that? Hey, this is Mr. Prez again. So somebody's been messing around in my office here. Anyway, um, we're gonna go ahead and start with uh, our lecture, which is solving systems of linear equations. And of course, let's make sure, see what Charlie's up to. Where is he? Oh, Charlie, there you are. You okay over there? Yeah. Yeah, you ran a little bit late there, aren't you? No, okay. Oh, anyway, let's get to work here. We're going to be sol <coughs> solving systems of linear equations here. So, okay, here we go. Here's two lines here, x plus y equals 2 and x minus 2y equals 4. Remember, our goal is to find the intersection of these two lines. Now, in class, we did it by graphing the two lines, okay? And that takes a while because you got to plot points, and a lot of people don't like uh, plotting uh, points and graphing lines, especially him. And so we had we developed two other methods, which was the substitution method and the elimination method. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use the elimination method on this. Okay, pay attention, Charlie. Okay, notice our top equation has 1x and our bottom equation has 1x. And so, Charlie, to eliminate those x's, are we going to add the equations together or subtract them? Subtract. Subtract them. Very nice. Okay. Okay, there we go, Charlie. So, what happens to those X's? Cancel. They cancel. Very nice. Okay. Now, Charlie, on the left-hand side now, we have Y subtract a negative 2Y. So, Charlie, what does Y subtract a negative 2Y equal? 3Y. That's 3Y. Because Y subtract a negative 2Y is the same as Y plus 2Y, which is 3Y's. Now, the right-hand side, very, it's a little bit easier. What's 2 subtract a 4? Negative 2. Negative 2. Very nice. And now, to solve for y, we got to do what, Charlie? Divide both sides by 3. Divide both sides by 3, okay. And so, 3's cancel. And we're left with what, Charlie? y equals negative 2 thirds. y equals negative 2 thirds. Very nice, okay. Now, if you would like, you can take the y value and substitute into either one of your two equations and solve for x, okay? and that would give you the other, the x-coordinate. Remember, we're looking for the coordinates of the intersection of these two lines. We now know that the y-coordinate of the intersection is negative two-thirds, so we need the x-coordinate, okay? Now, so we're gonna practice uh, elimination, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're now gonna go and eliminate the y-values, okay? The first time we eliminate the x, we're gonna go ahead and eliminate the y, okay? Now, Charlie, how many y's in the top equation? One. One. Now, on the bottom we have negative two y's, okay? Now, what we're going to do, okay, let's go ahead and get rid of this one here, okay? And now, we want the y's to be the same, okay? Or opposite in sign. So, I'm going to walk you through this one, Charlie. Notice we only have one y on top. We'd like to have two y's on top. So, what we're going to do is take our equation and multiply both sides by two, okay? We're working with that top one. Okay, there it is. And now, the left-hand side, Charlie, when you distribute that 2 through, what do you get? 2x plus 2y equals Negative 2x four. plus 2y equals 4. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this equation and put it over there underneath that one. There it is. And we notice here, Charlie, we have plus 2y's on top and a negative 2y at the bottom. So to eliminate those y values, what do we do with those two equations? Add them together. We add them. Very nice. Okay. Now, the plus 2y plus a negative 2y, they zero. They zero out. They cancel. They become zero. And so the left-hand side, Charlie, what's 2x plus x? 3x. 3x. And the right-hand side? 8. 8. 4 plus 4 is 8. There we go. So let's bring our equation down. 3x equals 8. We've got to solve for x. And so what do we do, Charlie? Divide, Divide both sides by 3. Divide sides by 3. Threes cancel, leaving us with x equals what, Charlie? Eight thirds. Eight thirds. So now we have our x value over there. Here's our y value. So the ordered pair of the intersection of these two lines, 
x comma y is what, Charlie? Eight thirds comma negative two thirds. Eight thirds comma negative two thirds. Very nice. And don't forget to circle your answer. Okay. Now that was a relatively simple problem. Let's step it up a bit. Okay. Let's go to another problem here. Two x minus three y equals three, and three x plus four y equals a negative one. Now, in this case, okay. Notice it's not set up very nicely in that we just can't add or subtract the equations right off the bat because nothing will get eliminated. So what we're going to do here is we got to make the x's the same. So we're going to go ahead and eliminate the x values first. Okay. Now, since we have two x's on the top one, three x's on the bottom, we have to find a number okay, that we can, that's common to both those x's. I mean, a lot of people like to think of this as, okay, suppose you had a denominator of two and a denominator of three. What's the lowest common denominator, Charlie? Six. It's a six because both those numbers divide evenly into six. So we're looking for a number to multiply the top equation by and a different number to multiply the bottom one by to make the x's the same. So if we look at this, notice if we multiply the top equation by three, three times two is that six, okay? And if you multiply the bottom equation by two, two times three is six. So some people like to look at it in the same manner as the lowest common denominator in that if you have a denominator of three and a denominator of two, the lowest common denominator would be six. So six is a number that we're going to change both our x's to equal. In this case, by multiplying the top equation by three and the bottom equation by two. Okay, now we got to do our distributive property. So what does our top equation become, Charlie? 6x minus 9y. That's right. 6x minus 9y equals 9. Right. And the bottom equation becomes what, Charlie? 6x plus 8y equals negative 2. Very nice, Charlie. There we go. So, now, there's our two equations now. Okay. It's set up so we can eliminate the x's. How do we eliminate the x's, Charlie? Subtract. Subtract the two equations. So, now, if some of my students in class were saying, well, if the signs are the same, meaning if you have a plus 6x and a plus 6x, you subtract the two equations, okay? If it was a minus 6, a negative 6x and a negative 6x, again, you would subtract the equation. So if they're the same sign, you subtract. Anytime they're opposite in sign is when you add, okay? And since we have a 6x and a 6x, we're going to subtract, okay? 6x, subtract 6x, they get zeroed out. There we go, they cancel there. And then now, you got to do negative 9y minus 8y. Charlie, what is that? Negative 17y. Negative 17y. Now, what's on the right-hand side? Don't forget you're subtracting. It's 9. Subtract a negative 2. So what is it, Charlie? 11. 11. Very nice. Now, we got to solve for y. Okay, so we divide both sides by what, Charlie? Negative 17. Negative 17. So what does y equal, Charlie? Negative 11 over 17. Negative 11 over 17, very nice. Okay. So with that, we eliminated the x values, which gave us the y value. Now again, you can plug the y value into one of your equations and solve for x. We're going to practice our elimination. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're not going to plug in that the uh, y value we just found. We're going to go ahead and eliminate the y values now. Okay. Remember, for the first step, we eliminate the x, we're going to eliminate the y value. So, here's our two equations here, okay? We're going to be eliminating the y values. Now, notice, okay, if we look at the numbers, we have a, a, a 3y up there and a 4y there. So, let's think about the uh, lowest common denominator concept, okay? If you have a denominator of 3 and a denominator of 4, what's the LCD, Charlie? 12. It's 12 because both those numbers divide evenly into 12. So, since we, we want to make a 12y, okay, we have the 3y. What do we multiply 3y to get a 12y, Charlie? 4. A 4, okay. That's why we're multiplying the top equation by 4, okay. Now, in our bottom equation, we have 4y's. So how am I going to make that 12y? We're going to multiply, multiply both sides of that equation by 3. Very nice, okay. Now, we do our distributive property. Okay, what do we get for the top equation, Charlie? 8x minus 12y equals 12. Very nice. 8x minus 12y equals 12. And the bottom equation becomes what? 9x plus 12y equals negative 3. Very nice, Charlie. There you go. Okay. Now, Charlie, notice here. We have a, a 
subtract 12y or a negative 12y on top, positive 12y on the bottom, they're opposite in sign. So to eliminate these y values, we said in class that we would do what, Charlie, to these two equations? Add them. Add them. Very nice. Because if we think of it as a negative 12y plus 12y will be 0, and they'll cancel there. And so what's on our left-hand side, Charlie? 17x. That's right. And the right-hand side? No. Nine. Okay. There we go. So 17x equals 9. We bring it down there. Now... How do we solve for x, Charlie? Divide both sides by 17. Divide both sides by 17. Those 17s cancel. And so x equals what, Charlie? 9 over, 9 17. over 17. Very nice there. OK, remember, from the previous page in your workbook, if you're using the worksheets, actually, um, y was a negative 11 over uh, 17. And the x value is what, Charlie? 9 over 17. 9 over 17. Okay. So, our ordered pair then is what, Charlie? What's the point of intersection? 9 over 17 comma negative 11 over 17. 9 17 comma negative 11 17. Very nice, Charlie. That is solving the system of linear equations by the elimination method. Remember, this ordered pair is the intersecting point of those two lines. Anyway, oh, much fun. Don't forget to circle your answer. And we'll see you all next time. I gotta find out who was going around my office or somebody made a big mess. Let me go find out who this is. Oh, shoot.